What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Let's talk about my top five city tweaks of September 2013. What an interesting year so far. Agreed? Um, what do you think of my minion background? Should I keep it or leave it? Here's one of the tweaks we'll be talking about, and here's another one. So let me get to some of the names. Hey guys, so let's talk about another city tweak, and it is right here. Simply swipe from your right side of the screen to your left, and voila. The most fastest fluent app switcher ever created at your service so basically they took this right here and they made it a lot simpler and there's a bunch of options and i'm not telling you what the name of the city of tweak is because it's right there and for some reason i can't pronounce it but yeah it's extremely fluent and extremely fast so let's go over some of the customizations you can do you can mess around with the animations there are only two at this moment but i'm guessing they're going to add more um there's flat animation styles so there's four of them there's also whether you want the icons to go. So if I put it on none, nothing really happens. Or do I need to respring? Yeah, I need to respring in order for that to take effect. Um, there's also behavior. This is very helpful for people who are lefty or righty. Most tweaks don't really do that, but I guess it's really important for this one. And there's a few other options that aren't very useful. And of course, there's appearance. I find found this one very interesting to mess around with. There's blur outside. Dim outside, icon fade, label fade, app labels, whether you want that or not, and of course, app name position. Most of your apps you should be able to recognize without an app label, but if you want it, go ahead and get it. And finally, there's background. There's linen and of course color. Should you choose color, you can easily mess around with about a billion gazillion colors. Look at all this. You can force it to be any color you want purple to blue to this to that but i personally keep it on default which is the linen there's also bottom color and top color but yeah that's gonna be it for this city tweak and a review on the first tweak which is called app swiper and it's quite the interesting tweak it may sim seem very simple at first but it's actually extremely useful so what it does is it gives your icons a certain glow when you basically click on them so say i click on music boom it gives it a red glow. Now you're asking why? Why would I need to know which applications are running? Well, that indicator basically tells you that this application is running instead of you looking inside of the switcher. And it's, it doesn't stop there. It makes it even more awesome. So say you swipe up from that application. Cydia is using 0, 0.00 MBs of RAM right now, but I'll kill it anyway. But then there's certain applications like Mail that use a lot more than 0.0 MB. So let me go ahead and swipe up on that. Come on, Mail. Apparently Mail's not working. Ah, there you go. So currently using 8.37 megabytes of RAM. Darn it, music. I'm afraid I'm going to have to kill it. I feel like the word kill is literally what you're doing to the application. On the bright side, you can always unkill it, I guess. And I just launched Twitter. So let me go ahead and get rid of that as well. Some, sometimes, like you just saw, it is a little hard to swipe upward, but most of the time it works very well. Now, this tweak is very useful for knowing exactly how much RAM it's using, not necessarily for closing them out since you'd have to go and swipe up on each and every application. So I highly suggest you stick with the traditional method. All right, let's get to our next tweak. The next tweak we'll be talking about is called Iro. And what it allows you to do is it brings a bunch of toggles and your notification center directly to your iOS 7 or iOS 6, I should say, lock screen. And yet it makes it look like it's iOS 7. Awesome, right? You won't get any of those awesome widgets you have inside your notification center, but you will, of course, get notifications. And unlike your normal notification center where you tap the thing, you can also tap it here but instead it will give you an option to remove or launch it but you'll probably use the traditional thing to just slide and it will launch whatever it needs to launch and of course there are a bunch of toggles up here that are very useful but other than that it just brings this awesome little notification center directly to your uh, lock screen and that is not possible with iOS 6 which annoys me quite a bit um the last thing you can do with this is rearrange what uh, toggles come first. I usually keep Wi-Fi up here and maybe something like Ringer down here since I don't really use it. And of course you can disable it. As to why you disable it, I have no idea. 
there might be a huge amount of people here who actually don't really care about the city tweak and it is called remind me i myself find it very useful and i don't know whether you will now basically it's one of the most simple tweaks i've ever come across you either enable or disable it and then you ask it to remind you of something then when you go ahead and unlock your device it basically asks you whether you want to do this device or you want to just get reminded later so let me see remind Dang, my spelling is really bad. Me to make pie. I don't know how to make pie, guys. If you have any good recipes, put them in the comment section below, and maybe I'll make myself some pie. But yeah, let me show you how this works. Simply go back, lock your device, and I don't know how long it takes to reset, so it might tell me the last thing I had saved. So let's see. There you go. Remind me to make pie. And all you have to do is tap OK until next time. Now, this does get annoying after a while, which is why this an amazing button called Enabled is there. Let's talk about the second iOS 7 style lock screen tweak. And this one is called Lockbar Pro. And what it does is it brings iOS 7's control center, aka Lockbar, to your uh, lock screen. And as you can see here, you probably actually can't see, but I can move my brightness up and down. And I have a bunch of toggles so it's it's actually extremely helpful toggles up here and then toggles down here to make a complete ios 7 style lock screen and one more thing i forgot to mention about ira it does fade out your slider and camera to make it look more ios 7 ish um this thing right here is pretty customizable and i'm sorry to say it doesn't come with a huge amount of things that the control center does but soon enough i'm guessing there will be things added to this and that will make all of us extremely happy i'm guessing um first off you can change the style and there's disabled why would you do that i don't know lock bar settings and that's just basically the settings without a brightness slider and of course ios 7 style which is the one you see right there then there's of course activation gestures and there's swipes and double tap and what you can do with double tap is Say this thing always gets in the way when you slide to unlock and it's messing with that. Then you can simply, instead of sliding upward, you can double tap right here and it will show up. Another thing this allows you to do is configure the toggles, just like Ira. And right here I have one thing disabled and I can get rid of a bunch of them if I don't need them. Or I can bring them to the top if I use them a lot. A lot. And considering I do use airplane mode a lot, I think I'll keep it at the top. And finally, there's visual settings, the number of toggles, and I would like to mention, you do not need to respring for this. So, voila, I have five toggles, it looks pretty nice. And I usually keep it at three since it's a lot more simplex, if that's a word. Anyway, the last possible thing you can do is background image, which basically takes a background image that you have stored inside your camera roll, crops it down, and that will be your background. I myself prefer the blurred background, and I don't know if my minion enjoys being blurred out, but yeah, you get the point. Um, anyway, let's get to our next city of tweaks, and this is called Lockbar Pro, and that's gonna be it for it. Yeah, for this city of tweak video, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you extremely love my minion right there. He has very interesting eyes and goggles, but yeah, he's waving to you, and he's begging for you to subscribe, so you should definitely click that subscribe button for more videos like these. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. This is me, logging off. <laughs>